Hello everyone and welcome to a season preview video and pretty much going to be getting right into it today. Don't have any time to waste on this one. Um, just want to go through uh, what's coming up and get on to uh, other cooler videos um, later in the week. I want to start off with this um, just to show what's happening. So um, fall series doing two different series. Um, as we've been doing for most of the year, and I'll show the other one in another video. Um, I want them to both have their own, uh, so yeah, that'll have to wait to the next one to see um, what the other series is all about. But for this one, just taking a look at the Halo Reach throwback. So this is something that, again, been talking about um, for a while. I want to say like March or April is when I was thinking about it. Um, pretty seriously, and then just ended up doing other stuff first. Um, really wanted to do the World of Outlaws series. Really wanted to do uh, the multi-game tier S, because uh, that was a pretty cool idea as well. So um, kind of did those first, and then eventually um, coming back around to, to this idea, um, doing these old old tracks on Reach, a little throwback series on Reach. Um, yeah, I can take a look at the dates. Starting time's coming up pretty soon. Um, of course, uh, doing laps like we have been doing. And I uh, got the checkpoint count as well. So the number in parentheses for these is the checkpoint count for these races. So you'll know that going into it as well. Um, but yeah, so the schedule has got a bit of everything. Um, so orange tracks are oval tracks. And there's a bit of a mix. Uh, Daytona is obviously a pretty big track. Charlotte's kind of in the middle. Big Bear is a smaller track, so it kind of starts off with um, the whole range in these first three tracks. Um, and then you even have a bit of a, a bit of a wild card in there um, with the Auto Dome. This one's this one's pretty cool because this one's like a legit terrain oval, um, kind of like what we did in TRS, but a bit different. Um, but in it works in a similar way. Like for it being a terrain, like a straight up terrain oval, it actually works out pretty well um so track's pretty cool um and then the ones in blue and white are our road courses gp tracks um arena starting off with arena on the first night and then again we've got quite a range here in terms of the length of these tracks um yeah quite a range road america is obviously a pretty long one should be the longest one i'm checking the laps just to make sure because it should be yes it is okay i was gonna say it better be um, so that one being the longest of our GP tracks, um, and then Lime Rock being the shortest. That one's pretty 30 laps for one of those tracks, actually quite a few, um, considering Daytona we're doing 35. And then for Supercross, taking a look at that. Um, and this is like a mix of SX and MX, so there's a little bit of both. Um, and then even in Reach, like, how do I put it? Like in Reach, some of the, I don't know, it was it was weird how tracks were classified, I guess. So some of these might be considered uh, motocross tracks as well, but they don't really fit that category. Like, for example, ORL National, I'm pretty sure this one is labeled as an MX track, but is it? Not really. <laughs> Not really, but it's labeled as one, so that's something to keep in mind with these as well. And there's a bit of a different style to, like, Snake Run and Audacity, for example, have quite a bit of a, you know, different style than, like, this This uh, Phoenix track does. Um, ORL National is pretty unique. Floodline's pretty different. Um, and then Cedar Ridge is like, a, and Blackwater, even though they're both like the MX tracks, they're pretty different in their own right as well. So, um, yeah, pretty good variety in that category, I'd say. <clears throat> but then if you look through those, probably looking at the schedule, seeing this purple and white, seeing this green and black, and probably thinking like, okay, so, you know, get this uh, ovals, GP, SX. All right, cool. What's going on um, with, uh, with these? So... Um, to, like, I guess, wild card tracks, I don't know, I guess, call it that, um, throughout the season that kind of, like, don't fit into any of these three main categories, but still wanted to throw them in there. So the first one, of course, being Outlaw Motor Speedway, and this one, I mean, you could probably, I, I don't know, it, it's kind of like a mix, like, you could probably consider it some type of Supercross if you wanted to, but it's got a little bit of everything, it's got a little bit of everything, that's what I like about this track. Um, it's got jumps, kind of gives it the super cross feel. It's got some big berms like that. Um, it's got sections that are like road course GP sections, like chicane, stuff like that. And then the beginning of the track kind of looks like an oval, uh, kind of looks like an oval track is how the, the start of it looks. So it's got a little bit of everything. Um, so it just doesn't really fit into a category. So it's one of the wild card races that we're doing. 
And then the other one, the TRS special, uh, 200 laps, pretty crazy, right? Wonder what that could be. I don't know. Um, but we're doing double headers uh, for throughout most of the throughout most of the season, and also, um, it's just one race for each track. So you know, it it you know, all double headers might seem like a lot, but again, it's just one race for each track. It's not uh, two motos for these. So um, and without without heats. Um, I don't, as far as I'm aware, at least at the moment, I don't think we're doing heats. Um, yeah, don't think so. So just the, just the one race. Um, so it might seem like a lot at first, but really what it is, is the races themselves are a bit longer, a bit longer than motos that we've done in the past, but it is just the one race for each track, um, and two nights. So realistically, if you factor in like heats and stuff like that, um, honestly, the amount of time that these double headers should take is probably pretty similar to like a one track two moto race that we would do um in the past so um yeah it should honestly work out to be pretty similar i time wise i don't think it's i don't think it's that big of a deal it should be pretty close um so yeah so if that looks a little if that looks like a little much i would say don't worry about it um it shouldn't be i mean honestly it should be quicker than like trs nights it should be quicker than trs nights. It should be quicker than both series that we did in the summer i would say um so that's kind of how that's looking, but it, it still should be a good amount of racing, though. Still should be pretty fun. Um, but yeah, double headers for most of it. The TRS special being 200 laps is just a one week its own event. Um, and then we have the triple header season finale at the end, um, which I guess it's kind of like back to back with the grand finals. Um, but yeah, so one one triple header at the end, one single, mostly doubles, and then of course the grand finals is also a triple header. Um, got Watkins Glen, Audacity, and Boulder Bay, and that should be pretty fun. And yeah, so Grand Finals, um, nothing too crazy for it. Pretty typical Grand Finals, um, just the three tracks, three different main track types. The, the races should be um, like the same length. I don't think the races are longer, at least if I did that. I don't remember doing that. <laughs> they should be about the same length of the regular season races. Shouldn't be too much longer. Um so yeah, Grand Finals pretty pretty typical, like, classic Grand Finals format. Except, of course, without the motos, right? We're used to doing, like, the two motos, the Grand Finals. This one's just the three races, the three tracks, straight up Grand Finals. So, um, yeah, it's kind of a sh it's kind of short um, in that sense, too. So that should be kind of interesting, actually. Um, yeah, that'll make it quite different than most Grand Finals that we've done. Um, yeah, let's see how that plays out. But yeah, so there you go. There's their whole uh, schedule. In the results, um, I don't know, I could show, preview the other docs, I guess. I mean, it's basically just the same stuff. Um, you know, most of the meat and potatoes is in the, uh, is in the, uh, the schedule doc. Um, and then most of this is just, uh, in the points, is just, uh, like, copy and paste from, from TRS. So, uh, multiple copies of Sector, of course, coming in this season. I wonder if we had five clones of Sector. Do you think, do you think one of them could, uh, have, you know, like, a, a phone? I don't know. Maybe. Think about it. Anyways, um, oh yeah, so in the res there is one thing, so, uh, the position, so, and it's just a slight change, it's not a big deal, it's just something that'll be, like, more accurate, I guess, um, which is judging the plus minus based off of your position at the end of lap one, and not your start of the race, because if you think about it, um, things can, usually a lot of stuff happens on lap one, and usually, like, a better, um, better, like, judgment of, of your race, of, like, how you went through the field is where you ended on lap one, not where you actually started the race, um, to the finish. It's usually, like, a better judge of that. So, it should lead to a plus-minus stat that is a little more accurate, because sometimes you'll have people and, um, you know, you'll get wrecked right away at the start, and you'll have, like, a negative, uh, you know, eight, nine, whatever, um, plus-minus, maybe you started up towards the front, got wrecked immediately, um, so then you look at that and it's like, wow, man, you just got destroyed that race. And then you think, but then you watch the race and you're like, well, yeah, they started in the front, but they got wrecked immediately. So it's like, uh, I mean, yeah, obviously it's not great, but it's not like they got straight up overtake, uh, overtaken like eight times. You know what I mean? It's a little bit different. Um, so I think it should be a little more, obviously stuff's always going to happen. Um, so whatever, but it should be a little more accurate of a plus minus stat, I would say. Um, so that, that's a little nice change. Um, but yeah, so other than that, um, I don't really, uh, off the top of my head, I don't really have anything else to say. I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, 
yeah, I think that's about it. So it should be pretty cool, should be fun. Um, yeah, be cool to race on some of these old tracks again, and then there's some little twists and surprises throughout uh, the schedule too to mix things up and keep things interesting. And um, should be a fun, fun uh, one of our series to close out the year. So hope everyone's looking forward to it. And I'll see you in the next video where I'm going to go over the other series that we're doing.